Да, значи малкият вариант и един ариан, ако може. Не мога ариан, че има излучение. А, той е по-ефтиния. Или... Не, не значи... Да, вие се знаете по-добре. Да, така ли? Ами и това ще е. Here I am with a car, a nice sandwich and an Ariane. And that's just how nice you can make your average Saturday in Bulgaria. Just a quick spring update. You might be confused sometimes because I share a lot of videos that are uh, from last year still. But I've traveled so much basically after the... Uh, the COVID, I got a bit upset that we couldn't, like, when it becomes harder to travel, I noticed that I get a bit itchy and uh, I was a bit upset at how it all went. So I sort of made up for it, let's say, and I started to travel extensively, basically every weekend in, in particular 2022, and that's partly because I was working for the Netherlands Cancer Institute remotely from Bulgaria. I'm essentially a contract negotiator, so I negotiate contracts for clinical studies, that's my job, which I'm good at, and they allowed me to, well, basically, in the Netherlands you work 36 hours a week, and you can save a Friday off every other week, so that's every other week I was basically on the plane to somewhere, and that's why I have so many videos still pending to be uh, published. So what I do normally is I upload them to YouTube, but publish them sort of whenever I feel like. There's no real uh, determining factors. So I think I have hundreds more of videos to to post and you'll just, uh, I hope you'll find it interesting at least. Because there's a lot more coming. So as I just mentioned, I'm a contract negotiator and uh, basically I do that in international business. Uh, in particular IT but also pharmaceutics so about 10 years of experience now which makes me a pretty sought after candidate let's say so I do get a lot of job offers from well in particular the Netherlands but many other places as well because the labor market is very short nowadays and uh, my current job is actually very nice as well it's in the same field pharmaceutics I do clinical trials um, in particular, I negotiate budgets now, prices for trials, but also the contracts still. Um, and I do still travel a lot because with my previous job, which was a temporary contract for two years, I worked from Bulgaria, but I had to adhere to the Dutch holidays, which are not that many actually. So the only good thing was really that, uh, or not the only good thing, obviously the salary was nice, but I got every other Friday off because of the 36 hour thing, let's say. But now I work for the Bulgarian entity of the uh, current company I'm at. And that means that I have again the Bulgarian holidays. And the good thing there is that you have a lot of holidays in Bulgaria. So they typically fall in April, May. And September, these are the true vacation months. And then in summer, basically the families with kids go. And I stay in Bulgaria most of the time. Unless I can just go for a weekend, let's say. So if I work for a Bulgarian company, and probably it's the same with many other people who are single, the travel months are in particular April, May, and September, because you can tie several days together. And then in my package, I get 26 paid time days off as well so if I tie it together I have a very significant period of the year where I'm just off basically which is the good thing about Europe it's social in that sense and Bulgaria just has a lot of holidays in addition to the 26 days which is quite generous as a package for Bulgaria uh, I'm off just a lot of the time so people might think that I travel all the time or full time, but that's absolutely not true. In fact, I work full time and I rarely if ever take a break from that. Like sometimes in between temporary contract jobs, I take a month or so or two and then I do extensive travel like to the Middle East. But typically I'm always full time occupied and I just happen to be very good at travel planning. So if I have a couple of days, I take one flight here, one flight back from the other city and just 
do an adventure in between, you know? That's how I... That's how I travel. Without any plans, essentially, just I'm very good at planning flights, like... Um, yeah, that's essentially it. Just a spring update from Bulgaria. Life is very, very sweet here, and in fact, I should spend a lot more time in Bulgaria, because... It's spring, almost summer, and I do still feel a lot for the country. Like, when I'm back here, it sort of feels so relaxed, and you don't need to catch a plane. You have everything around you, you know? So there's truly still no need to go anywhere else if you live in Bulgaria. I'm just sort of restless, and I think that's my... the things I need to work on. I'm very restless, but it is hopefully slowing down as I age. I'm 31. Probably if I'm 41, I'll be a bit more relaxed, but uh, it's also brought me to a lot of cool places.